Hi everybody, uh, my name is Joel and I'm from Bright Culture. I'm going to teach you uh, one concept in atomic structure. Okay, so it's about the first ionization energy graph and will always appear. Okay, so take a look at this, right? So if I were to analyze the first ionization energy graph, it looks like that. Okay, so um, take note, right, so this one over here is your first ionization energy versus, uh, okay, let's write it on top here, elements. Okay, my focus is, of course, our period three elements, okay, period three elements. So we start from a sodium, okay, so, okay, let me draw it over here first, right? Okay, so take note, right? Uh, okay, let me trace it out over here. Okay, so generally you must know that the first ionization energy of period three elements or any elements across the period will generally increase, right? Why increase? You need to know is because the first factor you need to know is that the nuclear charge increases. Remember? So nuclear charge increases because there are more protons okay and of course our screening effect remains relatively constant because they are in the same period means same number of electron shells right so uh, remains relatively constant ah. take note okay and of course eventually we know that because of these two factors, we net off our effective nuclear charge increase. Effect, effective, okay, nuclear charge increases. Means what? The electrons are more tightly held, okay? So generally, the general trends increase, but we need to pay full attention that there are two anomalies. Okay, over here, it drop, and over here, it drop, and this one is linked to our third element aluminium and this one here is sulfur okay we need to know why okay let me label all this first so sodium magnesium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine and argon okay so what is how come aluminium and sulfur right they didn't really follow the trend okay so let's analyze and know the reason very important so for aluminium remember the electronic configuration it's um, 3s2 3p1 so you notice that the the last electron is actually on the p orbital which is further away from the nucleus right so it's more easily being removed because it's far so the attraction is weaker okay that's why it fell a bit and of course our sulfur over here the electronic configuration is 3s2 and 3p4 means the electrons are positioned this way and because of that you notice that there is this part over here is called inter-electronic repulsion means they repel each other because they are negatively charged okay so because of that right because of that uh, electrons are more easily lost so drop a bit right so take note everybody um, this shape is very important to uh, know because the question might ask you about second ie or even third ie uh, fourth ie i've not seen it before so at least we know the first ie concept first right and then uh, when we when we look at a question regarding second ie i'll explain further how we draw the second ionization energy graph okay that's all please remember goodbye